What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Robot Panda 15 here, bringing you another Mega Dimension Neptunia V2 video. Today, we are on episode 11, and last we left off, uh... You know what? I'm actually not gonna spoil that, because... A lot of shit happened. You guys are about to find out anyway, so I'll leave it at that. If you guys want to know what happened, go ahead and click on the playlist, which I'm going to put in the description of every video from now on. I have completely forgot to do that, but I will do that. But, as you can already tell, we are back in Planeptune here. And, uh... Yeah, this happened. Yep, that happened. So hopefully we can pick up some more party members here, because it's not a Neptunia game if you don't if you only have one character. So we're gonna go ahead and go on in here to the conversations, and looks like we got some stuff here. So the Nep F the Nep fan club chairman is here. Hey, you're there. Let's cheer Lady Nep on together. Our Nep fan club is always accepting new members, so just give me a call whenever you feel up to it. See, what she doesn't know is that I'm the chairman of the, uh, Histoire fan club, so she's out of luck there. Won't you try joining Lady Nep Nep's fan club? If you join, you can see the intense dojin. <laughs> Lady Nep X Lady New York that was banned from our sales booth. Nep no off forever. <laughs> I'm done. We're not even two minutes into the recording. <laughs> and they are already talking about Dojin. That's awesome. Where did that girl go? Okay, cool. So those guys don't say anything, but we got a conversation here with IF. Now then, we were able to find the instruction manual, but... There are too many sections If with if you think she's broken, then as the header, so it, may, so it might take a while to find. Let's try out this simple diagnostic sheet. All we gotta do is answer yes or no to the questions on it. This kinda looks fun. Let's give it a try. Alright, I'll start. Um, is she unconscious? Yes! Oh, that was Kama speaking there. Next is, has her body gone cold? Nope. Next, is she automatically restarting repeatedly? Hmm, looks like a no. Next is, did she try completing a task before her specifications? W what's with this incredibly pinpointed question? So, what's the answer, Nep? Now that I think about it, his his mentioned trying something above her specs before she passed out. As expected of Histoire, she she left us with a helpful clue while taking her last few breaths. How nice! Whoa there, Kava. Don't just kill her off like that. Please don't. Please do not kill off Histoire. Okay. Well, let's answer yes to that one. So that leads to... She has short-circuited. Please apply the Shanshiro's Soulful Patch. She will revive with sheer willpower. Revive with sheer willpower. That's pretty vague. That's a pretty vague repair method. But if this is all we can rely on, then we have to find try finding that patch. You're right. I guess that's where I, I guess that's where we're at then. Nep, sorry for asking you right after you got back, but can you go look for it? You got it. Wait. From your wording just now, does that apply you're not coming with me, Iffy? I really want to go with you, but we just can't leave the Basilicom empty. The atmosphere is bad enough because of the CPU shift period, so if something were to happen, it'd be a problem. Then how about I stay at the Basilicom and you could go look for it. You're more of an expert at finding things. That's true, but what are you going to do if there's some crisis in Planeptune while I'm gone? Up until now, Histoire has managed everything on her own, but can you really take her place in confidence? Uh, well, <laughs> with the other nations, their CPUs always deal with these internal issues. But if you can't, I leave no choice but for me to stay. <sighs> That's an extremely good point. Well, you'll come along with me, right, Kampa? 
I want to go too, but it would be bad if something happened to his Swaw, so... Do your best, Nep Nep. Yeah, I figured as much. I'll search for information and clues too, so if I find something helpful, I'll call you. You should try to help his Swaw out every once in a while. Oh, looks like we get a combo with his Swaw and... Noir, let's go to his Histoire's first. Oh, my head is hot. I just gave her a British accent, I don't know why. My conscience is hazy. Oh my... I, I don't know whose voice this is. I'm gonna go with Uzume's voice, because Uzume has been having those flashbacks. Histoire this power at this rate if I just disappeared everyone if everyone forgot no please don't go oh. mm. sounds like she's having a really bad dream poor histoire all right now how should I even look for clues that Isti here, there's, I can't do anything for Nepgear, so I gotta work fast. But I'm so bad at looking for stuff. You know, it wouldn't hurt to rely on us every once in a while, would it? Huh? Welcome home, Neptune. Welcome back, Neptune. Noir and Uni, why are you two here? I have called and said you had gotten caught up in some kind of trouble again. So, and his Histoire had fainted, so she asked me to help you. Oh, how very thoughtful of Iffy. Hmm? But then, isn't it a little fast to, for you to have gotten here? Th those kinds of small details don't matter. What's important right now is his Histoire and... Oh, I know. You. I bet you flew over here at mock speeds because you wanted to see me so bad. Who would go flying anywhere to come see you? I just thought I would offer you help as a fellow CPU is all. <laughs> oh, Noir and Yudi, the Sundere pair. That's great. Oh, there you go again. You never say your feelings honestly. What, what, what do you mean by that? It's not like I'd be lonely at all if you never came back. <laughs> Total Sundere right there. That's just like Neptune. She's always right on the money with Noir. But still, what's Nepgear's thinking? Letting herself get behind like that. She hasn't even called to check in with me. I wish she'd be considerate enough about me to know that it's making me to know that it's making me so worried. Hmm. <laughs> Noir is a lonely loner. I told you to stop yelling weird things like that in a place like this. Who did we just run into? Ouch! Eek. Ow! 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 Tisk! Tisk! You tripped in and you tripped up an innocent bystander. Whose fault do you think that is? Jeez. I'm sorry. Are you hurt? Oh no, I'm fine. Are you all right? As you can see, I'm perfectly alright. I really am sorry. My companion here is getting herself involved in some ridiculous antics. It's alright. I was lost in my thoughts. I was lost in thoughts myself. So we can call it even. It's nice of you to say so. Well then, we'll be excusing ourselves. Were those people possibly Lady Neptune and Lady Noir? I have no idea what voice to use for her. I haven't heard her speak yet. Jeez, because of you, I caused some un someone unnecessary trouble. No matter how you look at it, you're the one, you're the bad one for being distracted. Um, it's fine to have an argument and all, but I think we should focus on helping this Dwar out. Oh, right, of course. I need to find something called Shinshiro's Soulful Patch. Would you know where it might be? Shinshiro's Soulful Patch, is it? I've never heard of the item myself, but isn't Shinshiro one of Planeptune's great men? Wouldn't it be located in Planeptune somewhere? If 
I knew that, I wouldn't be having problems. Let's split up and look for it. We'll meet back here in two hours. Let's go, Uni. Okay. Noir really never changes. She still helps me out no matter what comes out of her mouth. The, ep the epitome of a tsundere. <laughs> that is true. Guess I should go. Guess I should get to looking around too. Um, let's have this combo with Neptune here. I'm a normal everyday CPU who, at the moment, is making a mad dash to gather information. If I were to say how I'm different, it's probably that I change looks drastically before and after I transform. My name's Neptune. I came all the way out here to this park, searching for information on an item that would save a short, shorted out histy. As I casually glanced aside, I saw a young man sitting alone on a foot. Is she narrating herself as she's doing things? As I casually glanced aside, I saw a, I, I saw a young man sitting alone on a bench. That's a typo there. A saw? That should be I saw. Handsome Parkman. Shall we uh, um, talk about it? I don't really understand how, but I've ended up having a conversation with this handsome loser of a man. So what is it that you want to talk to me about? Depending on the topic, I might report you. Please, rest assured. I'm sorry, but you land quite a few ways outside of my strike zone. What I wanted to speak to you about was the CPU of this nation, Lady Neptune. I started British, now I'm going Australian, because Australian accents are the only accents I really know how to do, so I'll make him Australian. From what I've heard, lately she hasn't shown up for public services, and she showed herself up to play around. On top of that, her chest hasn't developed at all for a few years now. She's flat as a board. That last point aside, Maybe she's had some extenuating circumstances out of her control. You know, she might have been, she might have been sick or had to go far away for work. I suppose it could be thought of that way too. I bet you're the kind of guy that takes what's written on the internet at face value. That's why you're so suspicious of the CPU. Or how did you know? You have that kind of look about your face, but you shouldn't believe those kinds of groundless rumors. A great person once said it's difficult to go on using a forum without being a person capable of seeing through lies. Okay. <laughs> Insert using a forum here. I think you should have a little more confidence in your own convictions. It often happens that malicious people spread strange rumors for fun, you know. Y you're right. I'm sorry. Thanks to you, I've opened my eyes. I'll be taking my leave now. Phew, I had no idea what would happen when he criticized me by name, but I guess these things turn out alright sometimes. But geez Louise, who is it? Who's posting weird rumors about me online? Hello, blonde. If it isn't Neptune, when did you get back home? I got back just now. Actually, I'm actually calling you, calling to ask you, uh, oh my, I, yeah, hang on, I completely destroyed that line, wow, face palm. I got back just now, actually, I'm actually calling to ask a favor of you. I understand the situation, it's best to look for your answer in books at a time like this. There might be a description written in an old technical document, or something like that. As expected of you, Blonde, I would n I would have never thought to look into printed materials. I can help you with investigations, at least. You better try your best, too. It's like having a hundred strong behind me with your help, Blonde. I'll talk to you later. Hmm. Books, huh? Where's a place that has books? Where's a place that has bo Are there no libraries in Plut Up Tune? What the fuck? I'll found one. I'll skedaddle on over. 
I thought she'd say over here, that's why that sentence kind of sounded weird. Welcome! Who are you? White hair, red eyes, evil. Bad, bad person right there. When you say books, you definitely think of the supermarket. <laughs> Neptune, sometimes you are stupid. Let's see. <laughs> the comic book section is over here. Hmm. So this is the adult magazine that the general requested. However, there are two women at the register. This is most troubling. There seems to be a ninja mumbling to himself in the corner of the book section. Game industry sure has a variety of citizens. Here it is. Oh, new volumes are out for Rolgo 13. <laughs> that is great. And Zobra. Phew. Wait, I'm not here to look for these. Hmm. Ah, over there. Times like these are when I turn to Nep Nep Mystery Reporter. NMR for short, for inspiration. I'll just put this in my basket along with this candy box that has a prize in it. Ring me up, please. It's almost time to rendezvous. Nora's not here yet? Since I probably have some time to kill, maybe I'll pursue the book I bought. Hmm. The Secret of Crop Circles. Nestradamus's predictions. Or prophecies. G grand crosses in spiritual civilizations. Etc. Etc. All of them look intriguing, but they don't seem related to the item I'm looking for. Huh? What's this? Prophecy of the Golden Summit. I love these sorts of old occult stories, and even I've and even I've never heard of this. Wearing golden armor, he shall stand in game industry, finding the lost people's bonds. He will finally lead them to the Golden Summit. Wait, didn't I just watch a movie or read a manga? Or something that said something like this? But I don't think it has anything to do with my item search. Sorry to make you wait. Did you find anything? Well, I bought a book and read it up, but I've got nothing. When you say book, do you mean that? Yep, but why? You're hopeless. Well, whatever. I'm thirsty from walking around for so long, so why don't we talk over an ice cold drink? A, a. She's a thirsty hoe. <laughs> you betcha. I'm kind of parched myself. All right, let's do it. I saw a pretty neat place on the way over, so let's get there. If you're sure about it, we should strike while the ov while the oven's hot. Hey, what? Is that even how that saying goes? Why are you running? I haven't even told you where it is. Who are you? Who are all these people? I've arrived. Whoops. Looks like I came way before our meeting time. No one's here yet. Hmm? A book in this place? Maybe someone forgot it. I think I'll read it a bit. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. What did you say? At this rate, game industry's gonna fall into ruins! Is there any way to avoid destruction? Found something. Prophecy of the Golden Summit. I'm sure this is it. H hey there, Bisha. Oh, Sisha. I made a huge discovery. Game industry is going to be destroyed. Huh? Okay, weird introduction of characters there. It's pretty quiet here, so we should be able to talk at our leisure. Oh, I'm surprised that such a fancy place exists in Planeptune. This is the lobby of your nation's hotel, you know. Oh well, it looks like Blonde and Vert have conducted their own investigations. So let's have a meeting through group chat. Uni, please set it up. Leave it to me, Noir. Let's see, gotta call both Blonde and Furt. Here we go. Hmm. 
we've been waiting. Did you find any information? Not at all. And you? I tried studying Game Industries ancient documents. There is nothing about the item we're looking for. I see. What about you, Vert? There was no concrete information, but I did find a local that was sick. I, I did find a location that was sacred land of the first CPU of Planeptu. There's a possibility that the CPU who created Hiswa has left something there. To be honest, that sounds pretty fake. Where did you get that information? Do you have to ask? Enchan, of course. Enchan? Isn't that where all the hoaxes and rumors seep out of? Aside from all the lewd pictures of CPUs, aside from all the lewd pictures of CPUs spanking each other, <laughs> perhaps. But there are experts you should never expect to find lurking those boards. Besides, in Four Goddesses Online 2, oh, that's the MMO I'm currently playing. But a friend from there happens to be a professor of archaeology and history at a certain university. And they had heard the, of the same legend. Which means the best we have is that sacred land. You're going to believe that? This is the map I this is the map I received from that professor. Wow, what an unexpected windbag to find information on online boards and games. Don't you mean windfall? That's another way of putting it. Then, let's all head to this place together. I don't think I've been here for a bit. I don't, I don't think I've been here before either. In regards to accompanying you, I'm afraid. I, I apologize, but it is difficult for me to offer you any more assistance. Same. I do want to go with you, but my hands are tied up with some, with some domestic difficulties. My reasons are similar. I must catch the parties responsible for spreading false rumors and lies about me. Since this is Vert, I'd made the assumption that she was busy with online games. Huh? But didn't she mention something about her online friend just now? Well, that can't be helped. Three of us can go then, right, Nor? Uni? Um, well, about that, Neptune. You wouldn't be like that, right, Noir? My kindred spirits, my kindred spirit, best friend, best buddy. Oh. How do you always anticipate me like that? Seriously, you too, Noir? It's the CPU shift period. Last station's in the same position as those two, with rumors and lies spreading. Then why did you come here? Isn't it busy? That's, you know, uni, uni, it was, it was uni. What? Uni would absolutely had to help out so that Netgear could get home. And being impressed by her show of friendship, I came to help her as a sister. S so don't get the wrong idea. W what are you saying, Noir? You said that you'd keep that a secret. And besides, you're the one who wanted to see Neptune and was saying she can't do anything without you. Well, what kind of nonsense are you spouting? Oh ho ho! So Noir said that. I see. You! Stop grinning! Jeez, we're going home, Uni. We already helped you out, Neptune, so do the rest yourself and do it right. See you later, Neptune. Please take care of Nepgear. Noir! Uni! Ah, <sighs> they left. I didn't even finish drinking the tea they ordered. All by myself now. But I was able to find an objective thanks to everyone's help. I better try my best. Alright, I better hurry out. Where should I try looking first? Nep, wait up a second. Oh, Iffy, you're coming with me after all. I managed to catch up. No, I told you we're moving separately. We just got permission to use route bu route building. It's an emergency. It's an emergency, so lay out the route and build it as fast as you can. What? Route building? What what is that? 
Right now, there are plans to improve the transportation networks over the entire nation. They won't be normal roads, but light paths created by share energy. Thanks to the CPU's power, paths that took days to traverse will take much less time, so people can walk to places they couldn't before. As you know, our economy is not that great lately, so we're trying to stimulate the flow of people and goods. Wow, amazing! So we're switching from analog to optical lines! Nominally, this area is going to be moving with your protection. Only one part's been constructed, but since it's an emergency, we'll have we have permission from the Basilicom to send the route out. If you specify a point where you want to use route building, we'll immediately connect the route to that point. They've also said that Planeptune will, co will cover the funds this time. <coughs> oh, how generous. Then I'll go ahead and connect the routes. And he then head out. Thanks, Iffy. Be careful out there. Okay, so with route building, you can create new routes to traverse on the world map. Okay. When your destination point is not connected to any routes, you can open the way with route building. Okay. In order to build, in order to route build, you will have to pay a certain amount of credits for each point. Oh. Building your route is as easy as selecting your point and paying credits. There are some po there are some points that will cost no credits at all. Okay. After route building is finished, it will then be possible to move to that point. You'll have ex you'll have expanded the area you are able to adventure in, and the story will advance. Depending on the point, there are times you will not be able to route build. It may be possible to build to that point from a different town. Oh. I see. Hmm. I see, says the blind man. Okay. Alright, so I have to go here, and then we go to this route building icon right here. <clears throat> And then I should just be able to do this, right? Cool, I can just build the points all the way to it. Nice. Alright. Um eh, we're only twenty-seven minutes into the episode. I am going to go here and alright, so the only thing we really need is Dogu Jelly. Can we get Dogu Jelly from here? Yes, we can. Let's do it. Let's try going here. All right. So our first gen CPU sanctuary right here. We'll start this up and call it an episode, and I'll get the next episode. I'll start recording the next episode right away after that. So let's go ahead and do it. So this is the sacred land of Planeptine's first CPU that Vert was talking about. What I can see, it doesn't seem different from any other dungeon. Ah, uh, whatever, I have to worry about fixing Isti first. Alright, actually, I want to see how far I can go in this dungeon to start with. Because I don't think I'm going to make it to the save point right away. So let's do something. Let's fight these two Dogu right here to start with. Start to finish, I'm always at the climax. All right. Oh, I love having enemies that hardly do any damage. That's nice. All right. So we'll kill these Dogu here. Wait, where'd the other one go? Oh, I killed it, I guess. Okay. There we go. Do I get Dogu jelly? No, God damn it. Hang on. There. Okay. That's that's cool. Oh. Ow. He just uh, did that. Um. Alright, let's hit this one. Alright, I should be able to drive gauge after this. Oh. 
kill these guys. And then we'll heal up. There we go. We will now heal up and we'll call it an episode here. Alright, so if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like down below, subscribe for more content, and always leave a comment. I try to read any old comments I possibly can, and I try to reply to as many as well. Either way, Panda, check it out.